Today, you are going to see how you can integrate Cloudera with the CASC Data Application Platform, or CDAP for short. We will demonstrate how you can install CDAP using Cloudera Manager, ingest data into the platform, and then query that data using Impala. Let's get started. In order to install CDAP using Cloudera Manager, you first need to install the CDAP Custom Service Descriptor, downloadable from either CASC's or Cloudera's website. After the custom service descriptor is installed, you can download the latest CDAP parcel, distribute it to your clusters, and activate it. Then you'll be able to add CDAP to your cluster by invoking the Add Service Wizard. Now that CDAP is installed, let's ingest some data. Streams are the primary means of ingesting data into CDAP. They are ordered, time partition sequences of data, usable for collection and consumption of data in real time or in batch. A stream can easily be created by using the CDAP command line interface. First, connect to your CDAP instance. Next, create a stream. You can add events to a stream in many ways. One way is by loading the contents of a file. You can now explore the contents of your stream by executing a SQL query. Let's select some events from the stream. From the query results, we can see that the stream events are formatted as comma-separated values. Now that we know what the data looks like, we can attach a format and schema to the stream to enable more powerful queries. Let's run a query to see how much money was exchanged for each stock ticker. CDAP integrates directly with Hive, so the query is executed as a Hive query. Now let's see how you can query the same data using Impala instead of Hive. To do this in CDAP, create an adapter that will regularly read data from a stream and transform it into an Impala readable format like Avro or Parquet. Let's create an adapter that runs every 5 minutes. As you can see, with CDAP we are able to ingest data into Impala and query it with a few simple commands since the adapter is pre-built. Without the adapter, a developer would have to ingest the data into HDFS, use Hive to query the data and define a schema, write a MapReduce program to transform the data into one of the Impala file formats, and use a workflow system such as Uzi to schedule the MapReduce program on a regular interval. This is a significant programming effort requiring extensive knowledge of multiple Hadoop components. Now that you have data in CDAP, you can use other CDAP capabilities and features to build end-to-end -end operational data analytics applications. For more information, please go to the links below.